In this video, we present a novel approach to the diagnosis of solitary pulmonary nodule using a combination of cryobiopsy and radial EBUS. The case of a 63-year-old female with a 3cm speculated parenchymal lesion is presented here as an example. Prior to the procedure, radiology is vigorously examined with attention to airway anatomy. In this case, RB2A is thought to be the best location to biopsy. The procedure is performed under general anesthesia, spontaneous breathing and via rigid bronchoscopy. In this case, a size 14 Storz rigid tracheoscope is introduced and stabilized in mid-trachea. A pediatric flexible bronchoscope is then used to survey the endobronchial tree. The small outer diameter of a P190 scope provides access to more distal airways while maintaining the ability to use other instruments through its 2.0 mm working channel. Radial probe endobronchial ultrasound is then used to find the best target. As expected, RB2A seems to be the better target, being close to the center of the lesion and away from vascular structures. The position of the probe and its relative location to the lesion and other structures is then confirmed using fluoroscopy. The image is saved for future reference. This diagram summarizes the process of obtaining cryobiopsy. After confirming location of the target, an endobronchial balloon is placed proximal to the target segment to tamponade bleeding. The cryoprobe is then advanced through the working channel of the bronchoscope. After freezing a few seconds, the cryoprobe is then withdrawn along with the bronchoscope while the balloon is inflated to tamponade any significant bleeding. In this case, a 4 French endobronchial balloon is placed in proximal RB2. The position of the balloon is then checked and one of the procedural assistants is trusted with the sole responsibility of operating the balloon and to ensure it stays in place. The proximal end of the balloon can be taped to the rigid scope to facilitate the process. As explained before, a 1.9 mm cryoprobe is advanced into the target segment via the flexible bronchoscope's working channel. Position of the tip of the cryoprobe is then confirmed using fluoroscopy while trying to create the same image as the one with the radial EBUS probe. After the biopsy is obtained, it is important to ensure the balloon is inflated and also to minimize the time without visualizing the biopsied area. The flexible bronchoscope is then used to assess the position of the balloon and adjust it if required. By coordinating deflation and then reinflation of the balloon with installation of cold saline, distal hemorrhage can be effectively controlled. This technique also allows for safe inspection of the biopsy site and assessment of the severity of bleeding. 